Hello, Mike Bradley here. Hope you are doing well as always. Let's learn a chord progression, which is part Hendrix inspired and part classical music inspired. Now learning chord progressions like this and also this type of style of playing, it really, really helps to know your cage system, both your major cage system and your minor cage system. Uh, for myself, it's a big part of my playing and it really opens up the neck and you can, boom, 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 boom. I call it the matrix system. You know, you can just, if you're in the key of F major, boom, 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 everything pops up in F and all the different places you can play an F chord um, or, in the key of F. So if you head over to my website, mikebradleymusic.com, it'll be popping up right here. Uh, I've got two lessons on there, teaching the major key system and also the minor key system. I've had some wonderful feedback. I know lots of people have learned a lot from it and it's helped a lot. So um, yeah, I do recommend checking that out uh, as this doing things like this and also, but more importantly, be able to take this and make it your own will be a big, big, uh, benefit into your playing by uh, getting that case system stuff down. So uh, yeah, head over to my website, mikebuddymusic.com and let's go in for a close up and learn this little chord progression. So basically we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight chords are happening here and it's all in the key of F major. So we're gonna do an F chord using the C shape. Like I say, do check out the Cage video lessons on my site and it'll really, really help you in learning this a lot quicker and get this kind of stuff, hello, <laughs> get this stuff into your plane so that it's just a general, oh, that's an F chord using this shape, you know. So we've got an F chord here using the C shape. Now this might not be a familiar chord to you, this is a B flat six nine chord, which is a cool chord. So if you just bar on that fifth fret on the fourth, third and second strings, and then your second finger's on the B flat, and then your third finger is on the second string, sixth fret on the F note there. All right, so you've got F chord. And I should say actually, I'm using, even though I've got the pick between my fingers, uh, I'm doing finger style here. But if you want, you know, you can uh, use the pick, all right? So you've got an F chord to B6, nine. Then after that, we're gonna go to an A minor seven chord, but I'm using my thumb for it. So I'm bar on the fifth fret, up to the full string or the top four strings, and then my thumb is on that low A. And this type of playing, or any kind of playing really, is really good to get the thumb in. Um, it may feel a bit peculiar at first, but just kind of push through it. I remember kind of, you know, taking a regular major chord and you, you know, doing it like that. And it felt really weird, but I just kept doing it. And now to the point where I don't really do that. I do that all the time. All right, so F, B6, nine, A minor seven. Now this is the kind of classical influence bit. We got an A with a C sharp in the bass, which is quite cool sounding. All right, it's got a nice lovely movement, a nice harmonic quality to it. So you've got an F, B6, nine, A minor seven, A with a C sharp, or A over C sharp. And then D minor seven, which is a D minor chord with your pinky off, to a G minor seven, same as the A minor but move back. And then C sus uh, four, so what's that? Barring on the third fret, fifth fret on the fourth string, little finger on the second string, sixth fret. 
to a C. Now that's very kind of classical as well, the, the use of the sus chord there. And then we're back, back to our F again. Now, of course, at the beginning, I was doing these little kind of. Then all that kind of stuff happening. So, with the C, sorry, with the C shape using an F chord, I'm just. Because round there is shape four for F major pentatonic again. Sorry to keep going on about it, but uh, it's so important to know that K system and I talk about it on those videos. So um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, um, but yeah, there's shape four there. So I could do those little embellishments. So I'm just keeping that bar there and just doing that on the third and fourth strings. And then, I just kind of did a similar thing with my, so I'm keeping that six nine and hammering on to that D there. And I just did a bit more of an embellishment on the A minor seven. Because of course, that's A minor seven. I can play A minor pentatonic over an A minor chord. Or of course, those notes are in still the uh, F major. You know, the shape four there, so. Let me do that again a bit slower. And then, I'm kind of picking the A over C sharp, um, which sounds nice. Five, four, two, three. Then do a similar thing. Five, four, one, two, three on the D minor seven. And it will kind of pick or strum on the G minor seven. Then to the, the sus, the C sus, and to the C major. And now nice and all. Five to seven, bar the fourth and third strings on the fifth fret, and then keeping that bar hammering onto the A, back to the C, uh, the G and C there. So I did a few more little embellishments there of it. Um, the, the world is your oyster. If you want to go full on Hendrix, you could uh, kind of do... hope you enjoyed that. This type of playing is something I truly love to play. It's when I was a kid, a goal of mine was just about to sit in a chair and play the guitar, not have to rely on loop pedals or have to rely on other people being there, just about to sit there and play. 
and doing things like this where you've got your chords and you're putting little embellishments in there is kind of doing that, you know? You're just, you can be at one with the guitar, man. So uh, let me know your thoughts, let me know how you get on with it. If you post anything on socials, tag me in it, it'd be great to see. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I've been Mike Brady, you've been you. Thanks for your love and support. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button, all means a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Mike Brady signing out. Bye. Peter, wait.